If you want to increase the amount of income you earn, this video is for you. Hey, my name is Jesse Ecker and today's video is an amazing one. It's an important one for us to understand and really identify with um, how do we actually increase the amount of income that we earn, right? So we just recently did a survey to our list. We always ask for feedback to our students and uh, people on our newsletter. And it's one of the ways that we continue to grow our business is asking for feedback so that we can correct and continue our way to success and keep improving things. And one of the answers that we got from our students um, was, you know, in general sense, I want to increase my income. I want to make more money. I want to be financially free. I want to get wealthy. But it all comes down to increasing the amount of money that you earn. And when it really comes down to it, I was talking to this on my Build Your Ultimate Tribe program that we're going through right now. When I was talking about this, it's a very different mentality that high income earners have versus middle to low income earners. When I mean mentality, it means what they're willing to do and what they're not willing to do. My question for you are, is, are you a CEO, but you're acting like a virtual assistant? And if you answer that question honestly, transparently, and really recognize what you're doing throughout your, your week, and you're doing lower income level activities, then how can you expect to earn the high income? See, if you were thinking about earning a million dollars a year, but you are stuck doing admin type work and virtual assistant type work, like designing a graphic, or posting something on social media, or um, something that you could easily pay someone anywhere from a couple dollars overseas to you know, 20, $25 if you're doing North America, any, and anywhere in between, well, guess what? You're gonna be earning less money because there's only so much time in the day. There's only so much time that you actually have to be efficient and effective. And if you're spending the majority of your time doing admin type stuff, well, guess what you're not doing? Making money type stuff, revenue generating activities, things that are actually going to grow your business, grow your income. So I always, I ask the question on Build Your Ultimate Tribe is, would a million dollar earner, would they, would they be working on a graphic for their Facebook? And the answer from everyone on the call was no, they wouldn't. They would find someone to do that. And I get that some of you are just starting out. You don't have the budget for doing that, but you've been doing this for five years. You've been doing this forever. When are you going to give yourself the alleviation, the leverage so that you can work on the business so that you can grow your business? The amount of income you earn is a direct reflection on what you're doing dur during your day, what you're doing during your week. So if you want to earn more money, well, then you need to do more high income skills, high income opportunities, high income activities. It's simple as that. If you're doing high income activities, guess what your income is going to be high. Why? Because you're constantly focusing on high income stuff. You're constantly focusing on higher revenue generating activities. You're constantly focusing on growing on the business, systemizing the business, processing the business, leveraging the business. The best, the best owners and founders, they don't do the executing work. They find the best in the business to do the executing work and they oversee it. They're the visionaries. So if you're not acting like the visionary, what are you doing? Well, you're executing. And what that means is there's only so much in the day and there's so much to do. How are you supposed to get it all done? Well, it's, it's impossible. So it's really important that if you are wanting to increase the amount of income you earn, that you find the 20% of the activities that are giving you the 80% of your results. The 80-20 rule, right? And if you can start to do more of that 20% on an ongoing basis, guess what? Your income is going to increase because you're focused on what's giving you the most and best results, right? So one of the best ways that you can do this, and we, we teach this in our coaching programs, is it's called activity tracking, right? We track what we're doing uh, throughout the day, and we see exactly what we're doing so that we know what's a revenue generating activity, 
versus an admin type activity versus some other type of activity that we're deciding to do, like surf social media, comment in the community. Just know that every, every second, every minute, every hour you decide to do one thing, you're deciding not to do another thing, which is a really, really can be a painful lesson. But it doesn't matter what you used to do, it matters what you do going forward. So if you wanna make a change, guess what? First step is awareness. Second step is starting to make a new plan. Third step is to start doing the new plan to execute it. Third step is reflect what worked, what didn't, how can you improve? So what I want you to think about is not just doing higher income activities, skills, and starting to learn that stuff. What I want you to think about is the CEO mentality. We talk about wearing the CEO hat, right? When you're wearing the CEO hat, you need to think about what's the CEO of your business, what they should be doing versus what they shouldn't be doing. And one of the things that you can do to, you know, already alleviate yourself if you feel like you're over your head with work is ask yourself, do I really need to do this? Is this really moving the needle or is this what I'm supposed to do? Because that's what happens is we learn something and we're, we're told that this is what we're supposed to do, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to do it to get the result that you want. So the question you need to ask is everything I'm doing, getting me closer to my result is everything I'm doing necessary to get my result. Can I strip some things away and eliminate some unnecessary stuff? Can I be more productive in the time that I'm doing? Can I make more space for the things that are working that are giving me the best results? These are questions you should be asking yourself on an ongoing basis. If you find yourself, you're overwhelmed. If you find yourself saying, I can't fit it all in. Well, you're not supposed to fit it all in because that's why you're supposed to create a team. That's why you're supposed to get some help. I don't know why you would stress yourself out so much to do it all yourself. It's not necessary. So first of all, if you are overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you are just got way too much going on, that's a really good sign you're over capacity and you should start alleviating some of the stuff that you're doing. We talk about delegating and then elevating what you're doing. So if you don't have the option, you have no capacity left, you're at 100% full. I learned this in the book, Traction. So um, the entrepreneur operating system, if you're at 100% capacity, and this is what I take from it, 100% capacity, how are you supposed to do anymore? Well, you can't. So you have to take some of that and you have to alleviate it. And then that will allow you to do more and higher level stuff so that you can get past that income ceiling, right? Because right now you're at an income ceiling that you're hitting because you're at 100% capacity. So you wanna break that income ceiling you have to alleviate some of the stuff so you can create more capacity for yourself. And then that allows you to create, do new things on doing more. So in summary, what you need to do is think about one, the CEO mentality, what you should be doing versus what you shouldn't be doing. Two, activity tracking, track what you're doing, get some reflection going on, see what's actually you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis from hour by hour. If you're finishing the day and you're like, what did I even do today? That's not a good sign. That, that doesn't mean that you did good. That means you're busy and you're not even, you're pur not even purposefully going through your day of what you should be accomplishing to get to your goals. Number three is make sure you are eliminating unnecessary things. If you're by yourself, you shouldn't be doing it all. You really shouldn't. You should be doing the necessary things, which brings me to number four double down on the things that are getting you the best results and cut back on the things that are just taking you away from them, right? And five, make sure that you are constantly reflecting, you're constantly improving, and you're constantly progressing so that you can increase the uh, type of work that you're doing to high income type work, and you are delegating, elevating, so that you can break your income ceiling. What did you get from this video? What was your biggest takeaway? Is there anything that you're doing that you feel like you don't necessarily need to do? Is there anything in this that you feel like, hey, you're right or what's going on for you? I wanna hear in the comments so we can start a conversation below. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. 
And most importantly, I appreciate your commitment to learning and growing. Let's see that CEO hat on you. I can't wait to hear the stories of you increasing your income. Bye for now and have an awesome rest of your day. Woo! Was that video awesome or is that video awesome? Hey, my name is Jesse Acker, Managing Director for Harvecker International. And if you want videos like this on a recurring basis, every single week on business, financial tips, life tips, strategies, principles, things to make your life a level 10, then go ahead, click the subscribe button below this video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on the notifications as well. So every time we send a video, you're the first one to get it. Thank you for watching this video today and subscribe to our channel.